Dan Lanning clearly wanted the cover last week against Michigan, as we all saw. I was at a party Saturday night. My buddy had Michigan, and uh, boy, did he start drinking a little more heavily uh, than he was before after Lanning chose to punch that ball in the end zone when he could have taken a knee. But I want to focus on the Ducks' defense here. They've allowed more than 17 points to only two teams this entire season, Boise State and Ohio State. Those are playoff caliber teams, obviously. Michigan got to 17, but you remember that was with a 28-yard touchdown drive. Other than that, those three teams, no one scored more than 14 against the Ducks. I know Maryland has the Big Ten passing leader, Billy Edwards Jr., but I don't see the Terps scoring a lot Saturday in Eugene. It's a one-dimensional offense outside the top 100 in rush yards per game. Maryland's only Big Ten win, guys, uh, was a miracle comeback at home versus USC, who, as we all know, cannot win on the road. So let's look at the total of 57.5, shall we? If it holds, it's going to be the highest total for any Maryland game this season. The previous high was 56. One of those games ended up being a 27-13 win over Virginia. The other was a 29-28 win over USC that I just mentioned. That game came with the last-minute touchdown. Again, 29-28, that's 57, not quite 57 and a half. Other than those two, every Maryland game this year has had an over-under of 50 points or lower. Now, you look at Oregon's last seven games, they've had just one total higher than this. And that was against Purdue, who they shut out 35 to nothing. May not be that easy this Saturday, guys, but I like the number. I like the under 57 and a half, Maryland and Oregon. Oregon does not need, despite what Lanning did last week to Michigan, he does not need style points. Uh, this is a team that obviously is in the driver's seat to make the college football playoff. Our $5 best bet, as it has been throughout this promotion, this great promotion we've got, it's for a Saturday game. We won last week big with SMU, absolutely annihilating Pitt. I joked earlier with Prez uh, that I was mad that I laid the seven and a half. Guess what? They were up by 38 in the fourth quarter, so that didn't matter at all what I laid. Uh, so this is also a Saturday bet. We're going to turn it around in the NFL as well, soccer, and then we'll start get going in NBA and college hoops. But WT.buzz slash BP, still number one in college football, 45 and 22, my last 67, going back to last year.